and now we wait. Don't get mad, uh -huh. it's just what it is. What it is. Yeah, we talking sports, shot out the graven bands. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Raven here with another video. And yes, Justin Houston. He came and visited with the Baltimore Ravens, and now he is gone without a deal. Uh, but all hope is not lost yet. Um, but before we get into that, uh, shout out to y'all, Team Keep It Clean. Shout out to all the, the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, but real quick, special shout out to uh, our newest Team Keep It Clean patron. Uh, that's Jeremiah S. Special shout out to him, uh, his fiance, and their daughter. Uh, he shared uh, some personal information uh, in the comment section a few videos ago about what's going on with his daughter right now. Uh, and I just wanted to say, let you know, Jeremiah, that the whole team keep it clean. We all rocking with you, man. We all rocking with you and your daughter. She's going to do good, man. We already know. Um, so appreciate you uh, and appreciate just all of y'all uh, for the positive vibes that uh, y'all sent Jeremiah's way. Um, so anyway, Justin Houston. Uh, this, I mean... Not, not upset about it because it was expected. This is not a surprise to, I don't think it's a surprise to anybody that he came and left without a deal. Um, a tiny bit disappointing. Uh, and I, I hope that the Ravens would reach a deal with him. But, I mean, the expectation was already set. Jamison Hensley, a couple weeks ago, he already said the Ravens aren't expected to sign any uh, outside unrestricted free agents. Um, Jeff Zrebic, he gave us a reminder. He said the visit went well. Everything went good with the visit, but they're not expected to sign anybody until after it won't count against the comp pick formula. Now, with that, um, see, the thing, a lot of news that's going on in the past couple of days has made a lot of Ravens fans really question uh, this whole comp pick thing, uh, and especially when it comes to the Ravens' comp, their competition. Uh, and because you saw the Browns, they just signed Jadavian Clowney yesterday. Uh, so a lot of people thought, oh, man, that's going to really make the Ravens really push this deal forward. If they really want uh, Justin Houston and the Browns getting Jadavian Clowney, that's going to really make them make this thing happen. No. Uh -uh. And I, I, I never thought that the Jadavian Clowney thing was going to make the Ravens really, oh, OK, well, now we got to sign Justin Houston. No, because, you know, the Ravens love their comp picks. They love them. Um, but I feel as far as the Ravens comp, their competition and them trying to get to a Super Bowl. I feel like if you have a glaring hole there on your team, then I feel like you let let that comp pick go, man. My opinion. I feel like you should let it go. But again, there was no surprise anything uh, with them not letting their comp pick go for now. For now. And again, this whole thing could end up being where they wait till after the draft, obviously, and then after May 3rd, I believe, and then they end up signing Justin Houston. It's like, oh, wow, we still got him. And I think if that happened, then it would be even cheaper for what it would be right now. But see, here's the kicker. Here's the thing with that. Um, the reports came out, too, that Ravens ain't the only one interested in Justin Houston. The Colts. The Colts. Jim Ursay said it himself. The Colts are interested in bringing him back. They are interested in the return of Justin Houston. So guess what? Guess what the kicker is here for the Colts? This could actually be a double whammy. They could be doing multiple things all at the same time with them putting it out there that they want Justin Houston to come back. One, they could be significantly interested in him. They could be interested in Justin Houston. They could be like, hey, we want Justin Houston to come back. We know we saw what he did for our team last year. He made a big impact for with our pass rush. Uh, they still got DeForest Buckner. I mean, you, you can never have a good enough pass rush. You can always get better, but they had a pretty good one last year. So, with that being said, they can be like, oh, let's bring Justin Houston back. We want our guy back. He did well for us, and it wouldn't cost them a comp pick. So, they could, they could want him to return. So, if that happens, okay, Ravens, well, bye, bye, bye. Bye, Justin. Or they could actually be doing this to try to put pressure on the Ravens to sign him. They could be doing that to put the pressure on the Ravens to sign him, especially before May 3rd, so they could possibly get a comp pick from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I, I wouldn't mind that because, again, glaring hole, it's a need. Yeah. And I know there have been some people say, oh, but hey, if Justin Houston doesn't work out, it's Ryan Kerrigan. And yeah, there are other options out there. But for Justin Houston, for what he does and what he does well, 
he would certainly, and I know he's what, 31, 32, he's older. <laughs> a lot of people have been like, oh man, Ravens, their defensive line is so old. Which, I mean, Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams, if they had Justin Houston, you got Pernell McPhee, Derek Wolf, you're getting up there. You're getting up there. But uh, <laughs> with, uh, you, you, you got some guys that can make some stuff happen. You got some guys, so you got some strong guys. I, I know my guy, um, oh, who was it? I forgot who it was, but he was talking about old man strength. I think it was my boy Vic Guapo. He's talking about Ravens got that old man strength, and they do. So they're going to stop the run. That's there, but the pass rush, it definitely needs to be better. Certainly needs to be better. Because one thing, I know some people talked about, oh, Wink, he's gonna, he can just scheme up pressure. He can scheme up pressure. Did y'all not see the Ravens last year with that? It just, it... It was a lot of situations, not too many, but it was a significant, significant amount of situations where the Ravens, they schemed up pressure, um, but somebody would be wide open. And when we just rushed four, ooh, it, it got ugly. It got, like, really ugly. Like, really ugly. You can't blitz everybody every single play. You can't do that. And especially if this Ravens team, what they need to be built for, obviously to win their division, but it needs to be more than that. They, 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 don't, they don't need to just build this team just to beat the teams in their division. They need to build this team to beat the Chiefs because that is their downfall. That is their kryptonite. Chiefs right now, they own the Ravens. You could try to crisscross it any way you want to. You could try to twist it around, remix it. But if you are honest with yourself, the Chiefs right now own the Ravens. As much as it may hurt to say that, what may hurt to hear it is true. So the Ravens, they need to build something that can really take care of the Chiefs. And if you're going to be blitzing everybody against Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> no, nah, that's not going to get it done. And Ravens know from firsthand experience on Monday Night Football where the world got to see. Where the Ravens, they sent, I remember there was one play where they sent their best corner, Marlon Humphrey. They sent him on a blitz. And I think and some, somebody was wide open. I think that was a touchdown play, by the, as a matter of fact. But anyway, they, they, they got to get better up front. So we'll be patient. I mean, we ain't got no choice but to. But um, we'll be patient. We'll be patient. And <laughs> I, what I hope the next video is not, I really hope the next video isn't, oh, Colt signed Justin Houston. Um, but at the same time, I mean, if it happens, hey, it happens. I'm sure that the Ravens have a backup plan in mind uh, for what's going to go down next. And, and I'm sure Justin Houston is not the only guy that's on their radar. He, he can't be. Um, because I'm sure Raven, Ravens don't put all their eggs into one basket. Whew. So, I don't know, man. I just, I, I was hoping something would get done. Uh, but with him leaving... We'll see if the Ravens and the Colts, they get into another battle. Because remember before, the Ravens, they were interested in Sammy Watkins. And then all of a sudden, the Colts, they brought in Sammy Watkins for a visit after that. But it was just to get their guy. I haven't heard about the Colts bringing in anybody, any pass rushes recently in for a visit. Uh, but with them, uh, what Justin Houston could actually do, if he really does want to go back to the Colts. It, it was said that there's mutual interest between him and the Ravens and mutual interest between him and the Colts. Justin Houston, he could play his part too. He could play his hand, try to get his bread up too. If the Ravens, if they told him an offer, like, hey, this is what we're willing to give you, uh, but it won't be till after the draft, after the comp picks, um, then he could be like, okay. So he could take that offer, shop it around. And in this case, shop it to the Colts and be like, hey, Indianapolis, hey, Jim, this is what the Ravens are going to offer me. This is the deal that we're going to do. Now, they said they don't want to sign me until after May 3rd so they can keep their comp picks. But if you, you want to get something done, let's talk. Let's talk. You know what I can do for you. You know what I've done for this team already the past couple of years. Let's talk. Can you match? The, can, you, can you do better than this? Can you do better than this offer? And if he can, okay, cool. If he doesn't, then maybe they go back to the Ravens. Or maybe he, they give him a counter offer. And then he takes that to the Ravens. And he's like, hey, Ravens, can you counter this offer? Jim is willing to pay me this much now because he wants to keep me more than you guys want to get me. 
can you counter this offer? And then at that point, you know, the Ravens would be like, mm, no, okay, bye. You can go back to the Colts. So, again, now it's just a waiting game, man. It's just a waiting game. Hopefully this whole thing ends up with, with if the Ravens are truly going to wait until after May 3rd. Um, that is, what, two and a half weeks? But if they're going to do that, then hopefully uh, it ends up with Justin Houston uh, becoming a Baltimore Raven. Because, again, you know, again, when it comes to the defense, guys that they like, oh, and they circle back around for, they really try. They really try. Now, in this case, their trying is a little bit different because of their comp pick formula. But there, there has to be some significant interest. So we'll see where that interest takes them and where it lands them. And hopefully, Justin Houston won't be like we are at the end of these videos and be permanently out. We're going to love y'all.